Good morning, Mom and Sir. We are the Group 3, and it's a pleasure to present to you the Balay Grandeur Private Resort. My name is Jinky Perez. So our business name, Balay Grandeur, is based on the Kapampangan word Balay, which means house, and Grandeur, which means luxury, which is the name Balay Grandeur as we want to incorporate the Kapampangan into the modern industrial style that offers comfortable yet luxurious style of experience. The logo presents the characteristic of the company wherein it shows the luxurious, modern industrial style and representations of Kapampangan. While the house image in the logo represents the service we offer and the designs of the resort, which is a modern style, the color chosen was shows the concept of business which is elegant and luxurious. The font represents our relationship with our customers since we want to attach and fully committed to our guests. For the location, Bali Grandeur will be located in Magalang, Pampanga, afar from the city since it's a private resort with an overview of the Mount Arayat. The lot has a total of 800 square meter that will include the pool, parking space, and outdoor space for entertainment. For the mission, to provide the best quality service, affordable place, and memorable experience, we ensure the guest satisfaction by providing peace, warmth, and safe environment. We dedicate to make difference by touching the heart of our guests. For the vision, we ought to be known as one of the best accommodation providers in Pampanga. Five years from now, our accommodation is one of the most prominent private resort to give satisfying and upstanding facilities, promising service quality and providing comfort for guests. The goals of Baliga Nure is to increase booking by 5% above the previous year to provide high standard of suitable service and give comfort from home to achieve 80% of employee and customer satisfactions in the first years by providing excellence experience and updating facilities to raise brand awareness by engaging in the digital market. The overall goals of the resort is the development that reflects the vision of the community. A partnership-owned business that soon will be located in Magalang, Pampanga, a luxurious private resort, Balay Grandeur, is a concept of Kapampangan modern industrial style. The resort offers food service, promote authentic Kapampangan cuisine, craftsmanship of Kapampangan people. The feasibility criteria, Bali Grandeur makes sure to provide relaxation and comfort with cozy and quiet ambience. The resort will be environmentally friendly as it's surrounded by trees and plants, prioritizing guest health as they can meditate and relax in the resort. The resort offers Kapampangan dishes. The security design and locations are represented by licenses to operate, a permit will guarantee by guests and employees. We make sure to generate profit to cater the needs of the business for the guests and employee, local communities that will benefit the economy and community. For the highlights of the project, History of Year is a concept of Kapampangan modern industrial design that promotes craftsmanship and food of the region. The project timetable and status, the duration will be 426 days from feasibility study up to the operations of the business. The nature of the industry was to provide luxurious types of accommodations that offers lodging, food, and beverage services. That will be a partnership type of business. The target market would be the upper and middle class. The mode of financing will be personal investment since it's a partnership type. The investment cost will have a total of 7,500,000 pesos and the total cost for land, construction, some buildings, and etc. would be 6,655,000. And for the major assumption, market feasibility, Bully Grandier is a private resort that offers lodging and accommodations for everyone. Our target market is family, friends, upper, and middle class. The technical feasibility, the business is in line in hospitality, the technology, building, construction, materials will go down to the management structure. For financial feasibility, the estimated cost for putting up Bali Grandeur will range to 6 to 8 million pesos. For the management feasibility, the management will be the one to handle the sustainability of the business and overall operation of the resort and sustain the facilities for a better experience of the guests. Chapter 2 will be discussed by Ms. Hudgens. Mabuhay! I am the second presenter, Bridget Hudgens. I will be discussing the Chapter 2 and Chapter 3. For Chapter 2, the Ballet Grandeur offers limited service for the guests that would like to check in. For the food, the guests will not be allowed to bring their own during their stay. We would have a cook that the guests can order. 
the resort will provide different kinds of amenities that the guests would enjoy during their stay in, such as the outdoor pool, arcade, and many more. In the lodging classification based on location, the Ballet Grandeur will be established in a rural location with a Kapampangan modern industrial design, which is fitted in our mission that the guests will be at peace when they check in for the rural location is escaping the city life and immerse themselves in the nature. Our target market will be the people in the middle and upper class, for family and friends getaways, reunions, and other occasions. The guests from outside the province will be gladly welcome in the Ballet Grandeur. We will not limit who would want to experience our promising service quality. Proceeding to Chapter 3, Valley Grandeur offers excellent service for the guests to be fully satisfied in their stay and can enjoy different kinds of amenities, which is our mission and goal as a lodging accommodation provider. The industry profile talks about a general offer of any accommodation which provides a place to sleep, relax, escape from work or the city. In the demand and supply, we have conducted a survey distributed for the potential guests of the Ballet Grandeur when it opens. We have asked what are their preferences so we can apply it to our resort. For the price study, it will be all dependent if it's the peak season, the prices will increase, and if it's the lean season, the price will decrease and the resort will offer discounts as we all know that the product we offer is perishable that cannot be stored. Lastly, for the factors affecting the market, there are the political, economic, social, cultural, technological, legal, and environmental factors. And for the chapter 4, it will be discussed by Ms. Zia Maliari. And now, let's move on to the chapter 4. First, we have the core product. As we all know, Balagandur is a private and luxurious resort, but also we promote Kapampangan culture in a modern design. Our objective is to provide the best accommodation, a pleasant, elegant, and memorable experience to our guests. Also, social media is a tool that we use in promoting the resort, and it helps to attract guests by publishing eye-catching and innovative design when posting. We also recommend our resort for those who want to entertain, relax, experience the pleasant environment, and for those who want to experience the extra facilities of the resort such as pools, bar, gym, equipment, amenities like television, personal care products, Wi-Fi access, and parking lot. Balegandur influenced by the craftsmanship and cuisine of the Kapampangan people. Because the resort has a beautiful visual and the food we serve is inspired to a Kapampangan cuisine, we can assure that Balegandur is a great staycation to spend quality time together with your family and friends. Staying in the resort can establish a strong relationship as well as for those who want to enjoy and relax. The benefits in staying in our resort is you have time to rest, enhance self-growth, and have peace of mind. This is are some ways that we can provide to surpass the expectation of the guests. Now let's move on to facilitation product. So under the facilitation product, we have the comfort room. It is important to make sure that the resort room and bathroom are setting the right impression. Because of that, we hire the most experienced and hardworking cleaners to assure that all comfort rooms are completely clean and sanitized. So we have the concert. This is an information section and personal assistant of a guest. They are responsible in handling the arrangement of transportation, tour arrangement, tickets for events, and any other activities which will make your stay enjoyable. They must have a pleasant, cheerful attitude and a passion to provide excellent customer service to our visitors. And next, we have the laundry area. This is where the resort offers a daily housekeeping as an amenity for the guests. Also responsible for keeping the accommodation of the resort clean, attractive, and comfortable to the guests. And next, we have the lobby and waiting area. This will be the place where the guests will check in, check out, and etc. This is also a place where the guests may feel they are welcome and help them to spend time while waiting. It also has free Wi-Fi for them to prevent being bored in waiting. And next, in the 24-hour security, it ensures the safety of the guests and Baligandur installs CCTV cameras around the area to keep eye in the surroundings. Also, we have a security guard on duty 24 hours a day and they are all ununiformed and stay on site for the agreed upon amount of time whether it is during the day or at night. And now, let's move on to maintenance. They are the one who aids the speeding up of operation and enhance of the visitor experience. Also, they are preventive maintenance, emergency repairs, planned servicing, testing, and component replacing, and building mechanical and electrical system performance are among the services provided. 
And next is the stock room. This is when the resort are in need of an item. The resort is ready to accommodate guest need and all the items that inside the stock room will be organized. And we assure that all the items that inside the stock room is organized and clean. Next is the catering and event venue. These are some those who want to celebrate their special occasions such as wedding, conference, galas, and other similar events. Lastly, the staff and employees. We treat our staff at Balegondur feel more like friends than employees. Being personable and approachable, you will be able to develop a much better relationship with the staff and they will be more comfortable giving and receiving feedbacks. Now let's move on to the third part which is the supporting services such as providing Wi-Fi access so that they will can still communicate with their other family, friends, or they can update and share their experience to their social media during their staycation. Next is the complimentary breakfast. The resort is offering Kapampangan cuisine so that they will no need to cook or order outside for their breakfast. And next is the parking lot where in the guests can park their vehicles during their stay and the resort ensure the safety of their vehicle. Next is the entertainment area. We have board games, karaoke, billiard, dark, etc. These are some additional amenities to our guests if they don't want to swim in the pool. Next is the gym where in the guests can have time to exercise or work out even during the vacation. The resort will install some equipment such as treadmill, dumbbells, stationary vehicles, and small equipment items. And lastly, the personalization. They are the ones who offer rental packages for events such as birthday, wedding, reunion, and etc. The resort can offer some suggestions regarding to organizers for events. Last but not the least is the accommodation rates. So, considering that it is a private villa, the guest rate staycation would be ranging from 15,000 to 19,999 per night with a full access to all the amenities and facilities that the villa would provide for the guest. It is also depend on the peak and lean season of the resort. Also, in, in determining the pricing of the villa, we of course matching the price to the quality of service we provide, since the villa and the amenities and facilities are expensive and luxurious. Hello everyone, my name is Ethan Kyle Pasqua. I'll be discussing Chapter 5, Operational Procedures. There are differ different kinds of area departments for the business to function properly. There's the front office, accounting, F&B, housekeeping, and security. For the front office, this is where the potential guests would inquire about the information on how much the villa costs. What are the amenities and services, services included? How many people in a villa can accommodate and many more? For the accounting, they would be the one to collect the payment of the guests who stayed in the villa. For the housekeeping, they clean and maintain the, the whole villa before and after the investigation of the guests. The security personnel ensures the safety of the people who stays in the villa and the villa itself. The engineering department ensures that all types of equipment are checked for proper and efficient operation regularly. So here is the floor plan for Balenia Door. Here are the interior and exterior perspective of Ballet Grandeur. The designs of Ballet Grandeur were based on the logo created. The color accents that have been used such as brown, gray, white, and black symbolize luxury and also give a modern industrial style of Kamampangan. Chapter 6 will be discussed by Ms. Kanlapan. So this is the projected income statement for year 1, 2, and 3. The sales revenue was based on the survey results on how much the customers are willing to rent the resort for a night. Mostly of them answered 15,000 pesos to 19,999 19, pesos and, they, and then we got the average of 17,500 pesos. We multiply it by 20 days since the resort, the resort is new to the market and we first forecast that it will not be fully booked for a month. And then we got the annual sales revenue of 4,200,000 pesos. Since the resort will be uh, offering complimentary breakfast, we have 360,000 as a total cost of goods sold. The gross revenue will be the difference of sales revenue and the total cost of goods sold. Moving on to the third row, uh, these are the estimated annual operating expenses. Um, the salaries, uh, we have the depreciation, uh, uh, promotional materials, utilities, equipments, supplies, and other expenses. The, the salaries and wages will be discussed on the next chapter. Uh, the 
total operating expenses costly of 2,203,246 pesos and 40 centavos. We computed the operating income by getting the difference between the gross revenue and the total operating expenses. As for the tax expenses, is based from the 12% of the gross income or gross revenue. Lastly, with the formula of gross revenue minus the total operating expenses and tax expenses, we got the net income of 1,175,953 pesos and 60 centavos. For the year 2, uh, we have the same data from the year 1. Why? Because since it is idea that we will not increase right away. And for the year 3, we forecast that people are starting to recognize our resort and the occupancy rate has increased. Uh, as, uh, we predicted that we can also increase 3% for the sales revenue, same as with the expenses. On the next financial statement, we have the cash flow, and this is what we have projected. On the year zero, um, we don't have the collection for, from customers since it is just the beginning of building the resort. Uh, for the net cash outflow, it is the total of investing activities, which is costly of 6,905,000 pesos. Moving on to the total cash inflow from in financing activities, the proponents the proponents shared 1,500,000 pesos each. And then we got the total of 7,500,000 7, pesos. The net cash will be the difference be uh, between the total cash inflow and net cash outflow. Lastly, for the ending cash, it can be comp computed by the net cash minus the beginning cash. Ending cash will be the beginning cash for the next year. For the year, one, collection from the customers, also the sales revenue from the income statement, which is 4,200,000 pesos. For the total cash payments, it is the sum of payments for suppliers, employees, and taxes. And we got the total of 3,124,046 pesos and 40 centavos. And for the net, in ca net cash inflow, we we have computed of 1,075,000 75,953 pesos, 75, pesos and 60 centavos. And then to get the ending cash for this year, uh, we added the net cash and the beginning cash. We got the total of 1,670,953 uh, pesos and 60 centavos. For the year two, we have the same data from the year one except from the beginning and ending cash. And for the year three, uh, since we had increased 3% in the income statement, we will be also increased in the cash flow. And now for the payback period, we have the formula of dividing the initial investment to the annual payback. For the year 1, we generated 1.78 same as with the year 2. But on the year 3, since what, we have what, what I have mentioned earlier, we had increased. For the payback period, we generated 1.73. The first part of Chapter 7 will be discussed by Ethan Pasqua. For Chapter 7, Balegandur is a general partnership that consists of five proprietors. A general first partnership is defined as two or more owners sharing corporate responsibilities. All the company's obligations and liabilities are individually responsible to each general partner. On their tax return, each partner reports their share of the firm's profit and losses. And now for the organizational chart, first we have the manager. He or she is the one who planning, organizing, staffing, leading, and controlling the whole business. Second is the front office crew. They are the one who is accommodating our guests before entering the resort. The job of the receptionist to respond to all reservations, questions, and complaints from the guests. Also collect the payments by accepting cash, checks, or charge payments from the customer. Third is the kitchen crews. They are the one who cleaning all the dishes, cooking food, operate the bar station and food storage areas following the food safety regulation. And fourth is the service crew. Is an employee is known as the repair workers or maintenance technicians. They are respond they are also responsible for identifying and resolving structural issues, equipment or machines of the resort. And fifth, we have the housekeeping. They are ensuring the cleanliness of the whole resort and especially in the guest room. Being well organized makes a great first impression on the guests. And lastly, the security crew. 
they are responsible for the safety and security of every guest who check in and out in the resort. Under standard operating procedures of the finance and accounting, they are responsible for ensuring the efficient financial management and financial controls necessary to support all business activities. The housekeeping department will be responsible for the cleanliness of the resort and make sure that the guests will have a clean and satisfying stay in the resort. The security management are the one to ensure that the safety of the people who stays in the villa and the villa itself. It is one of the most important jobs as it ensures security and prevents any possible danger from happening. Lastly, the engineering department is responsible for the structure and maintenance of the resort. The compensation and benefits will be discussed by Ms. Kalama. So now I will be discussing the compensation and benefits. For the manager, it has 454.3 daily salary and it, it is 10% higher than the regular employees, which is 413. We included on the table uh, the monthly salary and annual sal salary of each employees. Employees also have the 13th month pay, which is served as the bonus at the end of the year. For the SSS, Pagibig, and PhilHealth, bo both employer and employees will have contributions. First is the SSS. Based on their website, the contribution of employees uh, with more than 10,500 salary, their contribution will be uh, 495 pesos. As for the employer, it will be 945 pesos. And then for the employees who have around 10,000 monthly salary, salary, salary their, their contribution will be 450 pesos. And for the employer, will also have a contribution of um, 860 pesos. Moving on for Pag Ibig, when employees have more than 1,500 salary, their contribution will be 2% of their monthly salary, salary uh, and same as with the employers. Uh, and lastly, for the for the PhilHealth, when employees has a salary of less than 10,000 pesos, their contribution will be computed based on uh, the income floor, which is 10,000 pesos. And it will be equivalent to 300 pesos, which is equally shared between employer and employee. But for the employees who has salary range on 10,000 to 39,999.99, the contribution will be 3.50% of their monthly salary and it is also equally shared. Uh, so for the total salary and wages, uh, it costs of 1 million 163,246 pesos and 40 centavos.